there are so many wonderful aspects to this to this idea. Uh, first of all, obviously, being a Madness fan, uh, that was the the you know the breaker. As soon as I knew it was written by Carl, I thought this has to be worth doing because I'm able to say to all the children involved in it, look, when I was your age, this man was number one in the, in the charts, you know, with the songs they were doing, and they're hooked in. So it's a really nice way in. When I did the schools workshops, that was a great way to start, and I'm finding without exception that the children have probably taken to the song maybe even more than some of the adults have. So, I mean, the choir, they love coming to choir. They're really enthusiastic. They take on anything I give to them. Doesn't matter what the style is. And they, um, they're brilliant. And they give me so much energy back. I can give them more credit for getting the whole gist of the song. They actually do take it on board. They really get it and then they can express it. At the start of the song there, it started with, hey you. Uh, we know you're out there. It makes me think of um, that uh, everyone has someone to look out for. Uh, they're not alone, they're not lonely in their lives. I'm really proud of what they've done. I think they've done brilliantly. And they, they have picked it up much quicker than I thought they were going to, so yeah. The song is about like helping people who are lonely, making sure that they're okay. So that's why I like it. So creativity really kind of unlocks who you are and, and what you think and how you feel about things. So the creative elements for me are crucial to the whole concept project one. So what we're doing and what Craig's doing at the moment is helping unpick that and try and find ways of you guys going, okay, that was a bad time that I had, that wasn't great, but I found a way or a platform where I can express that. So I think on the back of what we've just had, hopefully some of these guys will kind of look at it as a bit of a therapeutic sort of session. So from personal experience, I can tell you that one of the first steps of the healing process is acknowledging your feelings. A lot of the time, if you don't acknowledge your feelings when something is real, it is so much easier to just forget about it, I'll move on. But to be completely honest with you, that doesn't solve anything. I particularly like this choral arrangement what I think gives its warmth and depth of meaning it has, a really bold statement. And we want to let you know that you're not alone. That makes me feel wonderful. I, I think community is important. We have a um, quite a tight-knit community. It's important for people to be welcoming, makes you feel part of something. You're not so much an individual as an individual contributing to something that's bigger than yourself. Uh, well, we're a community choir, so we try to go places to sing where we might be able to have an impact on people. Like, for example, we sang at the Senior Citizens recently. Um, we want to get out there and sing for different people and for different reasons. And I'm looking forward to hearing um, when all the choirs are put together and you have like this massive voice of people singing it, I think that'll be really special to hear. And we want to let you know that you're not alone. You're not alone. The choir was very good for all our, the, uh, our members. You know, we have a very large membership, about 100 people. And Craig was fantastic in keeping it going on Zoom. So we were one of the first choirs that uh, went on to Zoom. But that was a real sort of focus of the week to go on to have the rehearsals like we, we do every Tuesday night here throughout that period. You felt very connected with, with the choir still. Talking, I think you realised how important connection was more than ever. I don't, you know, I think a lot of people perhaps didn't really appreciate and understand just how important it was. I'm new to the choir. Mm -hmm. I found out about it through a long-term choir member. It's, it's people, it's connection. The repetitive section, you're not alone, is... Um, it resonates because of the harmonies within it and it's everybody bringing their different voices together to make a lovely sound. And this project, you know, to, to bring people together, to, to, to uh, the beauty of community, the beauty of 
coming together. It, it, I mean, it's something which has happened throughout history, you know, which is it, um, in, in our mod in these current times, it seems to be difficult for people to you to find a way to unite, to be able to get out there and to share it in song is um, I think it's it's uh, yeah, a, a, a massive relief and and a joyous, a joyous endeavor, you know. Can I just thank you all for coming and being part of this amazing experience. Thank you, parents, for bringing your children on a cold Sunday. You having a roast when you get home, I hope? Not, no? No? Grab a donut on the way out. So hopefully we're in between trains. Thank you, children. We're going to start properly now. I want to introduce you to the director of the Milton Keynes City Discovery Centre, whose idea this all was, I think, from the very start. Noel James, hello. Do you want to come up here? I can step down and uh, tell us about this. Thank, thanks, Craig. Um, thanks, everyone, for coming out to Bradwell Abbey on such a lovely, cold, chilly day. Um, as uh, Craig says, this started. This idea started last year, right in the middle of COVID, when I heard a song by a musician who used to be in Madness called Cahal Smith, who you might know as Chaz Smash. And he wrote the song that we're going to, to sing and play right at the end, the You're Not Alone song. And I was so moved in the middle of lockdown, thinking about everyone who couldn't see their families or loved ones and people that we'd lost. I asked him, I emailed him, I, I didn't know him. I emailed him to ask if we could do this as an online song and he emailed me back and he said yes absolutely do that anyway as it turned out covid meant we couldn't do it last year which is ironic so we decided to keep the faith and do it today and why not include it with all these lovely christmas carols thank you very much this is the culmination of over a year of, of hard work thank you once again for the amazing sound guys Ed and Bob and the team for getting set up in a field. I think that's incredible. Thanks to the string orchestra for playing in a field and for Julian for preparing them so beautifully. Hope your fingers haven't fallen off. Thank you for Willie and his team for filming everything. They've been filming for months. They're making a documentary about it. There's Willie there. So make if you get on camera. If you want to be on camera, go and talk to him. He'll film you doing that. People watching from all around the world, Australia, Malawi, people are tuning in to watch this. This film is going to go a long way around the world. Thank you to all the amazing schools who have come. <laughs> to Marlash, Broughton Manor, Portfields, the NHS Choir, the Crown Choir, Milton Keynes Community Choir, Dean's Hanger, and, and uh, I can't read it, Old Stratford and Southwood. Thank you so much for coming. This is the first of what may become, I don't know, who knows, tradition. It's very, been quite Christmassy, hasn't it? in all these wonderful carols. Right, are you ready for the main performance? Okay.
know that you are out there Don't be frightened We are with you